So I've got the camera zoomed in really nice here. I hope you can see it well. Now what I've got here is a fish that I didn't scale it or anything. So what I've got to do is I've got to get the skin off and you have to start it with your fork up by the backbone. All right, sort of peel. I hope that shows up nicely. Sort of peel that skin. I didn't scale this. This this is all whole fish now. All I did is is took off the head and stripped the, butt, the guts out of the belly. To show you a quick way to clean and process fish for eating, really quick and easy. It's less work, and uh, you get more flavor in the fish as well. Now I'm taking my time in doing this to demonstrate. Normally I would have this already halfway in my belly by the time I hit start on the camera. But uh, you just sort of come along and peel that. Peel that skin off, see? All the scales and everything comes off nice and neatly there, see? Put that aside. Again, this fish was not scaled. All I did was, was gut and pop the head off. So uh, quick and easy fishing and cleaning. This comes off. Actually, I think it takes less time for a panfish to uh, peel the skin off after it's cooked than it does to scale it when it's fresh. And it's definitely less pain for the fish. Now, this is really light and flaky fish here. And the, the bottom fin wants to come off. Now here's where it gets really simple, watch this. I take my, my fork and I'm gonna go up along the backbone here. There's a, there's a back fin here. And I just wanna gently peel that meat off. All right, I just wanna peel off from the backbone and here is a fillet of meat. See how the ribs now will come off? Look at that. There is a solid chunk of meat ready to go. Basically, I just filleted my fish just like that and peeled that meat off there. Now here, take the fork and just peel it. Peel it back, see? Now, um, that backbone part is, is free of any bones. There's nothing there. The ribs stay in place. Okay, you get a little bit of rib meat there that you can scoop off if you want. Belly and rib meat there. See the ribs stay in place, nice and neat. There's some meat there. Uh, one bone. Oops, grab that little bone out of there. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking everything off. Now, check this out. This guy comes off. All the skeleton comes off right there in one piece, okay? Now, the bottom fin comes off. See, so you scoop your fin, your, your hook, your fork under there gently, and peel that off, and your bottom fin is gone. All those bones are gone, entirely gone. All right. So this is pure meat. There's no bones in there right now. Nothing. Now you've got your top fin, okay? And the same thing. You hook your fork underneath that top fin, okay? And just peel it up and away. Peel it up and away with your fork. And it slides neatly underneath there. There's a little bone came out of the way there. Slide that fork under those, that fin, those fin bones. Look at that. Peel that right away. A couple pieces there. Peel that right away. Now you've got pretty much, double check, easy to check with the fork. There's a rib. See, I missed a rib. You check here. No bones. Nothing. Now, you've got the skin on the other side, which is a simple, quick deal. We just want to peel that right off there. And then you've got a full filet of fish on your plate. It takes a minute to prepare, but it's well worth it because then you can enjoy the fish with no bones. And of course, as I showed you how I, prepare, how I clean the fish, I did not um, scale it so there's less work involved in preparing the fish. Look at that skin comes right off. This one's this side's giving me a hard problem because this side was touching the frying pan. But it comes off, comes right off, peels right off of there. Now again if I was doing this just for me I'd have it done already real quick but I'm doing this for the video for you guys. 
Yeah, this side is a little bit trickier to get the skin off. He wants to stick on there a bit. But, almost got it. A little bit of meat during the tail. Okay, there we have a full fillet. Now I can just dig in here. There's no bones in here. This is all pure, fresh fish meat. I hardly, I hardly ever get a bone in my meat. I've been doing this for as long as I can remember eating fish like this. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Well, pure meat. Their backbones and everything, all gone. Fins, all gone. And that's how you debone a fish. Fast and easy on your plate. No bones. This works for panfish, perch, bass. Works for any fish you can catch that I've ever tried. I've always had this method. I've always deboned the fish with a fork right on my plate. Prepare it all. It takes about two minutes to prepare your fish and you've got good eating. Hmm? Nice, huh? Well, I hope this is a helpful tip for many of you out there. I know I have, I've actually taught this method to a lot of people through the years, just privately eating fish dinner with friends. And uh, I figured it was a good idea to share it with you all. And I hope it helps some of you. It, I find it very convenient and, uh, and comfortable to eat the fish like this. So, well, hope you liked the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Troy from TR Tech Tactical. I'm going to get inside and get the rest of this fish. See you later.